As I'm watching the perch in the water below, I see a Good morning. So we've just come down to the spot where we saw the fox and the monk jack last week. Um, we brought the camo, flat, uh, camo net down this week, which uh, we thought we'd have a go at. Um, so we're just going to sit behind here. Uh, it's a nice morning. It's about 13 degrees. It's not just after 7 o'clock at the moment. It's supposed to be getting to about 22 degrees today. Uh, maybe some rain, maybe some thunderstorms later, but pretty nice at the moment. Um, yeah, so we're pretty well hidden behind the camo net here. Um, I'm just going to sit quietly and see if these, uh, if the fox or the monk jack turn up again. And maybe we'll get some uh, decent shots. So let's see what happens. How frustrating is this wildlife stuff? Now, I've been down here for a couple of weeks and I've seen the fox and the monk jack both times. Same time of day. And I come down here today, bring the camo net down, everything to set up and get everything sorted. Make the effort, put it all up. Wildlife? Nope. No fox, no monk jack, no birds. I can hear a cook, uh, I can hear a woodpecker over the back of here. Actually, it's getting closer. Sometimes they come and land down here and pick up the uh, ants and, and insects from the track. So. But no, other than that, nothing. I guess I'm going to keep quiet for a while because the woodpecker's just to the right of me. That's all saying. Absolutely nothing. Not even a woodpecker. So I think I think what we'll do is we'll uh, maybe go and have a little bit of a walk. Um, not sure where. Maybe up one of the local tracks or see how busy it is in the main reserve. May even go into the main reserve. Um, 
haven't got many images lately from in there um, always stuff around in there so we can you know we're pretty well guaranteed some video and some photos in there so might just nip into the main reserve for a, for a little while so, yeah let's go and see see what we can find Thing to remember always leave the place exactly as you found it Just a quick uh, stop off just to offload a few bits and pieces um, back in the car and yeah I thought, we'd, I thought we'd try the reserve I haven't been into the main reserve for quite a while so come and have a little walk down here it looks fairly quiet so it might not be so quiet in the next hour or so so we might just stick around for a little while um, yeah gonna have a wonder and see what we can find it's beautiful here just by the side of the river absolutely gorgeous Every place it might just even if it gets a bit busy around the reserve might just come and sit out here for a while and just sit by the uh, on the riverbank for a while.
I'm just watching this perch out here um, over the water. It's, um, for some reason this year it's not, not coming to leaf, so it looks quite interesting. You know, a kingfisher, ideal fishing spot for a kingfisher. So you know we always say that wildlife is very um, unpredictable. Typical example, I'm sitting here waiting for a kingfisher to come onto this perch, which I mean, is a long shot, it's probably not going to happen anyway. As I'm watching the perch in the water below, I see a snake. The snake's going straight along water underneath the perch. So I fired off a few shots. I think I should have one in there, I fired off quite a few shots, but uh, yeah. I have no idea about snakes. I wouldn't have any idea what sort of snake it was. So, you know, if you guys have got any ideas, if the pictures are any good, then let me know. Um, drop it in the comments below. Let me know what sort of snake it is. But, uh, but yeah, sit and wait for a kingfisher and you get a snake. Oh well. First time I photographed a snake though, so that's good. So just looking over the far side of the pond here, um, see what looks like a terrapin or a turtle, I think. Really difficult to tell. But a few people have seen it as they've gone past and sort of confirmed it might be a, a, ter a terrapin possibly. So. Got some images as well, and, uh, so get them um, zoomed in on the computer, and we'll have a look and see what it is. Well, that's about it for me today. Again, um, not a great deal to report, really. Quite interesting to see the snake at the end, though. And uh, say, what looks like a turtle, which is a bit strange. Probably somebody's let it go and it's stayed around here and grown a bit but yeah um, drawn a bit of a blank with most of the stuff otherwise but showing you around a little bit see a little bit of what the place looks like and yeah look forward to seeing what the snake is and hopefully somebody can let me know so if you do have a great day don't forget to drop a like below for me and if you're new around here great to have you on board so you know, please feel free to subscribe and I'll catch up with you again soon bye for now